First of all, Minister, you're very, very welcome to the House. And uh, I know over the past number of difficult years, on a number of fronts, you have been so important uh, to the constituency I serve and indeed uh, to the country in general as we you know, dealt with something nobody seen happening uh, in the pandemic. And like many members here today, Minister, I welcome the fact that you have come in here yourself uh, to uh, give this address and listen to what we have to say. And I don't maybe even might take up the four minutes because I think Senator Wilson has adequately covered a lot of what I was going to say, and then Senator David uh, followed up for it as well. But like most members, I want to pay my tribute to our staff, our secretarial staff, and my own Lady Ashley, who has to put up with me, uh, not alone making sure that everything is looked after and uh, ensuring that all the reps are looked after and all the meetings are looked after and that you're in time for everything you're supposed to do. But even in my case, I think I've become known as the person who loses my keys more often than anybody else in the houses of the Oireachtas. And God help her and God help the ushers because, because it has happened too many times. But anyway, that's, that's the funny side of it. But I think on a more serious note, um, the staff here, our secretarial staff, have done a wonderful job. And I think, like everybody else, we would like to see their conditions changed, uh, their, con their, their particular job uh, upgraded. And I have to say, it's really good to see you, Minister, saying so much about those assistance in your address today. I picked out four paragraphs at an early stage, and then, of course, you spoke recently with all about the important role to play, and that's included in this desk as well. And I suppose the public will ask, uh, you know, on an ongoing basis, how does it take so much money to run the house, the Oireachtas, and it's a significant amount of money. But can I just pick out one or two things, and I think the public sometimes mightn't understand this. But I look here at a figure of parliamentary questions processed, 48,735. It takes a lot of work to get, <laughs> to, get, to get the research on those. Uh, 37,941 for written answers and 977 for oral answers. But, you know, apart from the secretarial staff, library and research do an outstanding job here. And we're really, really, you know, we should be really appreciative of what they do. Fantastic people, all so helpful. Again, the ushers, who from morning to night look after us so well, and many a time I've had to get my office reopened late at night. They never say boo, they just go and do it for you. But also the cleaners. And they have been very significant over the past two years, particularly with COVID. And we should give a, ma a major thank you to them for what they've done. And I know I think at one stage they were looking for a little area where they could have a cup of tea or relax. And I think it's something we should look after for them um, because they are extraordinary people. And we should acknowledge that here today. So with those few words, Minister, well done. Of course, we'll be supporting this bill. I thank you for the open and frank debate you're having here and continue your good work. Thank you very much.